Yes, I have. Perhaps the most eccentric adventurer we've ever had on Live and Deadly. He's done 20, well, he's on the, the road to doing 25,000 mile missions that span the planet. Dave Cornthwaite. Woo! He's out there, look. Yeah, he has travelled thousands of miles already on that tiny little board. Can't wait to hear more about that later on. Now, every week on Live and Deadly, we invite a special guest onto the show from the world of adventure to admire and to inspire us all. And this week's guest is certainly never bored. Meet Dave Cornthwaite. Hi, I'm bored. I'm the chairman of the board. Dave really is the master of the board, having skateboarded across the whole of Australia. He kayaks too, all part of his mission to complete 25 1,000 mile journeys across some of the world's wildest places using nothing but manpower. His most recent trip was paddleboarding the length of the Mississippi River. Bored? Never. <laughs> he is a paddleboarding, skateboarding, pogo sticking, space hopping, planet spanning, camel trotting, kite surfing, boogie boarding loon. We <laughs> love him. It's Dave Cornthwaite. <laughs> good morning, Dave. Welcome to Live and Deadly. It's so good to have you on the show. Thanks. Now, this plan to do 25,000, no, 1,000 mile journeys, where did that come from? Well, I used to be, I had a day job. I wasn't very good at it. So I got a skateboard. <laughs> and decided to cross Australia on my board, and it just changed my life. Now, now most people would go out on a skateboard for kind of, you know, half an hour down the yeah. park. How long did it take you to cross Australia on your skateboard? Well, some people said I should drive across Australia, which yeah. seemed to me to be merely lazy. So I decided to skate for five months instead. Five So what months. else have you done? Apart from the skateboarding, you've done... I've kayaked the length of the Murray River in Australia. Yeah. I tandem bicycled from Vancouver to Vegas just because it sounded like a good idea. And recently, I've just come back from the Mississippi. I paddleboarded the entire length. Now, what I love about this is, is that you totally embody the live and deadly spirit because everything you're doing is either by human power or by animal power. So it's all silent. You have no carbon footprint whatsoever. Yep. And I'm guessing you had some pretty extraordinary animal in encounters because of that. I really have, yeah. I'm not particularly good at anything. So this is <laughs> this is hope for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I've seen bears, snakes, alligators, uh, all kinds of stuff. I even raced an emu once. Wow. That must have been fun. It was brilliant. A thousand miles by emu, what do you reckon? I, I, that would be quite a feat. Maybe try an ostrich. I, I'm guessing an emu would struggle to hold your weight. That's negative. <laughs> so have you, have you, are you an expert in all the forms of transport that you're using already? No, not at all. I'm still learning. I've just taken up unicycling. I'm about to try stilts with spring so I can run across America. And I, I'm a rubbish swimmer. I'd be gasping after 50 metres, but I'm going to try and swim a thousand miles soon. What's the craziest challenge you've considered? Um... Maybe rowing the Indian Ocean, that's not so crazy, is it, really? Uh, unicycling a long way? Unicycling, Pretty that's going to be a bit I'm painful, not going to pogo yeah. stick, though. Don't make me. No, I, I think that would be a bad idea. No, but you're lucky. We do have another challenge up our sleeves for you. Would you believe it? No. Live and Deadly Style, it's coming up in just a bit. We've come down to the marina in front of the aquarium because it's the part of the show where Steve and our guest Dave go head-to-head. -head. It's the guest challenge, so the boys are over there. I'm just going to talk to them. Now, boys, it's safe to say you've both spent a lot of time out on the water, paddleboarding, diving, surfing saving all that sort of thing using all the latest maritime gadgets and gizmos so today we're going to go back to basics we're going to use the oldest watercraft on earth it's called a coracle you have one each and a simple paddle the aim of the game is to race around that boy and back again are you ready we're ready good we're ready. luck Come on. three two one take it away Do you see him on that bike last week? We all know women have a better drivers. I should be on that. 
<laughs> oh, who is going to be sailing into the lead? Come on. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Oh, Steve is paddling as hard as he can. Oh, no. Oh, no. Has he got water in his coracle? Surely not. Dave is just cruising on in to win it. Oh, is that Dave first back? Yes, I think Dave has won it. Woo! Well done, Dave. Our champion today. Oh, poor old Steve.